Oh, hi. Welcome to Carolina Cook, and I'm your uh, host, Tom Zelenka, a novice in the kitchen. Today, we are giving our Viking Range a break. We're letting it go out on vacation because we're doing everything for by hand today. So, go, boy! Party on! Woohoo! Here you go. Buongiorno! Bon voyage, which is clearly Italian for have a great vacation. And uh, we're making tiramisu today. If we can do it in 30 minutes or less, then you can too. The worst cook on TV. And the best chefs in the Carolinas. Not to worry, we're trained professionals. If you can learn a lot from your mistakes, you'll learn the most from Carolina cooking. And a shrimp. If Tom can do it, looks delicious. so can you. Mm, now that's Carolina cooking. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. Joining us today to whisk me into shape is the uh, chef, executive chef here at the Hadco Viking Showroom, Chef Suzanne Dillingham. Glad to have you. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much for letting us use your wonderful kitchen here. This is where we shoot uh, Carolina Cooking is here in the Hadco Viking Showroom. And today we're making uh, tiramisu, is that right? That's right. Which is a tie-in for little tiny feet. It's actually pick me up. Pick me up my little tiny feet. <laughs> no little tiny feet, just pick me up because there is espresso in it. Mm. Mm. You know. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Important. Right. Okay. So where do we begin when we're making tiramisu? I mean, we have these what? Lady fingers up top. Those are lady fingers, and uh, you want to have hard ones. So uh, we're going to be putting them into the coffee. Okay. So we don't want them to get soggy. So it's important that the biscuit is hard. Ah, so that's a, a very important thing. Well, there's right. only one way to check. Exactly. Mmm. This one seems to be hard. I'll check another one. This one's hard too. Wait, you're, you're making a little oh, mess. Sorry. Uh, I, how else do you check? Well, uh, you could just break it in half. Good chip. Very good chip. Yeah. yeah. There okay. you go. So, where do we begin with this, Suzanne? Uh, <laughs> the first thing we want to do is make espresso. Okay. So, we want to have three cups of hot water. Mm hmm. And we want to just dump all of this, uh, it's about 125 milliliters of uh, espresso coffee, but we just want to make it. One half cup for those in America. Uh, sorry, one, one half, half cup. cup. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And just pour it right in there. Okay. Is uh, is instant uh, espresso as tasty as uh, instant coffee? Um, it's it's pretty bad. Mm, I must okay. say, for drinking, it's pretty bad. But we need something strong and uh, flavorful for for the biscuits. Okay. So this will do just fine. And you just want to make it really, really, really strong. Now remember, these biscuits have sugar on them, so. Yeah. Mmm. That's good espresso. Yeah. So um, now what do we do? <laughs> do we get to add sugar to this? We don't. We're actually going to uh, save that for later. And okay. uh, the next thing we're going to do is separate the eggs. Okay. So uh, this will be for your shells. Mm -hmm. And I want you to put the egg yolks in here and put the egg whites in this big bowl. So let's move this out of the shells. way. Shells. Good call. Shells. Egg yolks? Yes. Egg whites? Egg whites. Okay. Okay. So, uh, is, it, is this one of those things where if I get some egg yolk in the egg white, we're completely messed up and we can't? Absolutely not. That's why I love tiramisu. It's, Ooh, uh, okay. I'm not a pastry chef by trade, so I'm okay. not really into measuring too much. Good. Me neither. So, I think we'll do well here. We have a, we should have yolks. eight eggs. All right. So yolks in here. Mm-hmm. There you go. Oh, you know how to do it. Oh, yeah. Well. Wait a minute. That's why. Uh, um, but I was going to dump that in there after I... Okay, well, <laughs> that, let... That was my system. Okay, was that was your system. In okay, there. now we can yeah. do that, but that's going to hmm. be a little... That's bad? It's going to be a little strenuous, right. don't you there think? There we go. There's an egg white, and that's for the yolk. Okay. Okay. I think I got the system down now. All right. One more. <laughs> yeah. There All you right. go. You feel free. You know, it is only a 30 minute show to grab a couple okay. eggs and do these with me. I will. All righty. Now, how long it. have you been uh, cooking here at the Hadco showroom? Four or five months now. Five months. And mm -hmm. before that, you were in Italy? Before that, I was at a restaurant called Upstream. Oh, okay. Here in, here in uh, Charlotte? Here in Charlotte, North Carolina. But you trained in Italy, right? I trained at, in Italy in Florence. Florence? Yes. Do you know the Belvedere scene in the Domo of the. I know it well, Clarice. You know what I'm... Yeah, I know what you're talking Silence about. Silence of the Lambs reference yes. for those... Wait, wait. Oh! Oh! Yeah. 
good catch. Okay, nice. thank you, yeah. thank you, yeah. Wow, Oh, she's quick, she's, she's tiny <laughs> and quick, fondly known as the tiny chef, correct? That's right. Well, you can get messy and just use your hands Good. if you need to. And look at me, I'm. I'm see, <laughs> no shells. You didn't say anything about putting shells in there. Sorry. Wait All a minute, more no, white. No, 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 no. I did it right. Okay. Alrighty. All right. Can you do it one-handed? Uh, one-handed? Yeah. Cracking an egg one-handed. How do you mean? I don't show know. me. That's how you get it. Like I can show you. Um, okay, so uh, let's watch Tom struggle yet again on another cooking show. On another episode of Carolina Cooking, Tom struggles to uh, make, uh, uh, yeah, it's not gonna happen for me. Oh, 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 hey, hey. Oh, 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 oh put oh, it in here. Bad. Quick. Where? Here. There. Ugh. Okay. Okay. All righty. We just wanna make sure we don't have any shells in anything. No, I think that, well, we I have think some we're, here. I think we're good, so we can discard these. Alrighty. We won't need them. Okay. And uh, it's okay that there's a little egg white in Good. there. Good, because uh, I think I've a made little, a, 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 a lot little of egg white. Egg white. And um, should we have something to wipe our hands or wash them? I think oh. we should wash our well, hands. Well, no, we'll just shake them we'll off here. We'll just shake them. Yep. Okay, okay. we're going to shake. And what am I doing now? Okay, now we're going to beat these until they're stiff. These are egg whites. And I want you just to whisk them. Until they're stiff. Until they're stiff and very white. Do you know this is a 30 minute show, right? Yes. Okay. So you gotta move fast. And I would stop using your arm so much. Maybe do it more with your wrist. Okay. There go ahead and show go. me. What do you mean? Okay, I'm gonna kind of. Okay, so we're not gonna use any appliances. We're just gonna no. do it by hand. No, not at all. I'll go ahead and take it back now. I think I could do it. And what else are we gonna do? Oh no. <laughs> what? Why can't we lose you? Look, no electricity to this show. You've said completely by hand and, and surely in Italy they have electricity. They have something like this only shaped slightly different in 220 volts, but still it's just like this. And, and then they have a mixer that goes round, please. Well, okay, maybe just the whites. Really? This one time. Oh, I got her to cave, but if, fortunately we, we don't have an outlet oh, right so here below the machine. That's good for me. So. It's back to the old uh, whisking my hand. Yes. So you just want to make sure you don't lose any of your egg whites. Oh, okay. All right. Is this good? Is well, this you want to keep going. Keep going. Okay. You know, this would be a great time for the crew to, you know, jump in. And if you guys ever wanted to, you know, do some egg white whipping. Be great. Any if you want me to take at over at any no? time, I can, okay. and you can there start you doing go. the all doing right. the yolks. Oh, we have to whip these two. Yes, you want to whip those as well. Do I have to make it into a white peak? Because I don't think no. it's going to happen. No, it's going to turn light yellow in color. And what you want to do is just add some sugar to it. Oh, okay. Sugar. Yes. I can do that. And this is all just this? regular granulated sugar. Yes. More risk, by the way. All of that. Oh, thank you. There you go. There you go, and whisk that together well. Okay. You don't want any lumps. Now, did you say how long you were in Florence studying? I was in Florence for seven months. Seven months. Yes. So you learned some Italian? Yes, I did. How do you say, my dog is on fire? Yeah, see? No lo so. <laughs> There you uh, go. No low shell means my dog is on fire. No, that means I don't know. Oh, but darn. I could say something like, "My dog is on fire." Yeah. Okay. How it do I say? It just wouldn't say that. Here's some important things. I think this is one of the most important things to okay. learn in any foreign language. All right. Where's the bathroom? Dove il bagno. Dove il bagno. That's the most important. What thing I can't understand is why they always teach you to say, "Do you speak English?" Parlo inglese. Well, why can't I just walk up and go, "Hey, do you speak English?" And if they just look at me funny, then clearly, no. Why do I need to learn it in their language? Then I give them false hope, don't you know? <laughs> then they're like, maybe he does speak my language, and then I'm like, no, completely. I must tell you that they appreciate the uh, attempt. So, okay. you know, you need to, to at least attempt to speak their language. Good so tip. you can stop whisking now. Okay. And I want you to add in all of that mascarpone. 
Mascarpone. And a lot of people want to call this mascarpone. Mascarpone. Yeah. Mascarpone. Mascarpone. But exactly. if you'll read the label, it has no R after the A. What? M A S. So it's mascarpone. Well, now you're insisting we read labels too. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. You are cracking the whisk around here, Tell aren't you? you? It's a tough life. Alrighty. Well, when we come back, uh, we'll be uh, still working on our uh, tiramisu here and probably eating a few more lady fingers when Carolina cooking continues. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas, all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. But Jesus, nobody knows. All right, it's time. Whew. It's time to stop whisking. <sighs> Thank goodness, my guy, you've whipped those things into shape. You, you have the forearms. Look at this. You have the forearms of a longshoreman. Look, look. Let's get a close up of her forearm there. Yeah, uh, nearly as thick as mine. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. All okay, right. what's next? So let's move on. Let's put, yeah. let's put the marsala in here. So we want a couple of tablespoons, but I need you to <laughs> I need you to eyeball it. Don't put okay. too much in. You can't. Uh, one tablespoon, two tablespoons. That's good. Okay. That's perfect. So whisk it together. Nobody knows the whisking I seen. And it smells really good, doesn't it? It does good, actually doesn't smell doesn't incredible. Mm -hmm. Okay, now okay. can we put it in there? Put it in here. All right, just pour it in? Pour it in, and if you have any left over, you can Scrape use a spatula gotcha. to get it out. All right, so the egg yolks went in there. We have right. the egg whites on this side. If you missed any step, you can visit our website and find the entire recipe there on our website on the recipe of the day. And So now what we want to do is fold this in okay. to the egg whites. And you want to do it really gently. This is something you should really do by hand, even if you are using a mixer. You don't want to use a spatula. Okay. Hand. And gotcha. you should use your right hand or your left hand. Which are you right handed or I'm right handed. So use your right hand. That's keep important. your left hand here. Okay. And go in. Wait a minute. Now you want to go in and kind of bring it up from the bottom. Okay. And kind of fold it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. There you go. Fold it gently like you were touching a cloud. Well, I, I, I don't know about you. I mean, you may live in some fairy tale world where you get to touch clouds, but uh, uh. I touch very few, to tell you the truth. I, uh, last time I touched a cloud was when I, when I was screaming as I went through it strapped to another man <laughs> who had a parachute. So uh, How about if you were to touch a cloud? Okay, I'll pretend like I'm touching a cloud. This is kind of what it looked like. You would, oh! wait, no, you're disturbing the egg whites. <laughs> you just okay. want to do it gently. Use less finger and more hand. Okay. <laughs> okay. You just want to get it mixed in there really well. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna help you. you do this. Thank you. And you can just kind of wipe off your hand. Oh, goody. Because this Come is on, big looking hug, right? good. I don't know. This is a new jacket. Nobody wants to hug anymore. <laughs> That's what's wrong with America today. Nobody wants to just give eggy. Eggy, yellowy. Here, give me your hand. Hugs. I can do this over it, or you can wipe it on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we mm. can do that. Okay. That's nice, right there. So let's get this started then. Okay, sure. All right. We only have 30 minutes to do it, so let's get her done. All right. So you want to use uh, a pan similar to this. Okay. Uh, this is just not a Pyrex. Not this pan. If you have this pan, not this pan, but one similar to one it. One similar to yeah. it. Maybe not this one. Okay. Um. Maybe one that's white. Okay. I, I like it on the white. So What's what next? first thing we want to do is take our biscuit and dunk it, but not all the way, just halfway. Okay. Dunk. And quickly. Yep. Quickly. Dunk. Because we don't want them to get soggy. No. That's really bad. Are we supposed to be keeping them separate? Uh, yeah, keep them separate okay. and just layer. Dunk. And it's not. Dunk. Doesn't have to be pretty. Uh, wait, 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 when we get to this step, do we turn them sideways? You can turn them sideways. Oh. I Perfect. knew that. <laughs> Very good. All right, dunk. All right. Dunk. How many more? Two more. It looks like maybe we break, break one this in one. Half? Half. Hey, that's what I was thinking. Okay, look, right. that's great. So we're all done. Yeah, okay. exactly. All right, what do we put on all top? All right, this 
is going to be layered on top. So go ahead. Do and I have to just, use my hand again? No, you can use a spatula right. and, and just pick up the bowl and mm -hmm. uh, kind of pour it on. So you want to oh. use about half. Okay. One half. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it actually looks a little bit lumpy. Oh, that's my fault. Completely my <laughs> fault. My, I was using way too much fingers. I know I was. It, it might have been fingers. Okay. And we might have put a little too much marsala in it. Oh, it's all right. This is mine. So, Yours will turn out much anyway, better. Anyway, it looks good. Okay. And, and now more of these? Wait a minute. You oh. want to put some cacao on top. Cacao. So pour some of this in the sifter. Is this also cocoa powder? It's cocoa powder in I America. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, if we want to be Italian about things, we can call it cacao. Cacao. And it's cacao. also called cacao in that fantasy world where you get to touch the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just go crazy with it. Oh, crazy. Okay, okay, that's great. I guess your definition of crazy and my definition of crazy were two different things, huh? No, that's okay. perfect. Yep. And just l make another, another layer. Another layer? All right. Okay. And then we put more on top. We do. We and can kind of spread cacao. these out. Okay. All righty. Well, we're going to continue doing this through the break, and then when I come back, I'm going to talk to Eris Ragazayas and find out which what he's paired with our tiramisu when Carolina cooking continues. All right. And then one like that, and then one like that. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas, all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Did you get to lick your fingers? No, she wasn't. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm here with our wine and beer expert, Eris Ragazayas. And uh, Eris, you paired tiramisu with a beer? A beer. Why Why would you do that? Well, I was expecting a, like a dessert wine and... Actually, with you know, I often do coffee with the tiramisu. Okay. Uh, because it's got coffee in it mm -hmm. and that balances it off. But this is, in a way, a dessert beer. Uh, this is from the Young's Brewery. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a very uh, well-known English uh, brewery. And this is their double chocolate stout. Now, stout means that the barley uh, malt has been roasted. And when they roast the barley malt, it gives it a very, almost like a coffee caramel taste. They use dark chocolate in there as well uh, to give it a chocolate taste. And they put it in a can, which is nitrogenated when you open it. There's a little canister in there. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, here, it's not carbonated yet, so it's okay. not going to explode. All right, you promise? Yes, it's going to... It's going to do Get that, carbonate. though. Well, okay. it's, well, it's carbonating itself. Right. Now, just just give it a second. One, one, well, thousand. actually, not carbonating, nitrogenating. Nitrogen it's nitrogen. Nitrogenizing. It's nitrogenizing. It's a nitrogen cylinder in there. Let me see if we can pour it out. Okay. Look at that. Look at that foamy head on there. Mm hmm Oh, you, you, I, uh, don't right, worry. I, mean, I, was I wasn't going to forget you I now. I was waiting. I mean, we have beer. This is exciting. All righty. Ooh, now, you'll, uh, you'll notice when you drink it, this, well, obviously it's got a nice creamy head. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, uh, and now I th I, the fizz is stopped in mind. So. No, but taste it. The, car the, again, the nitrogenation, I keep on wanting to say mm -hmm. carbonation, is a lot softer. Now, this is made to resemble the soft carbonation of a keg beer yeah. rather than the more, you know, harsher carbonation that you get in a bottle It really beer. does taste like a, like a, like a mixture of uh, chocolate and, and coffee. It actually, and cream. Yeah, and cream definitely yeah. has a cream flavor to it. Ooh. You can distinctly taste that, that dark chocolate in mm -hmm. there and combined with the kind of caramelly, uh, almost coffee-like maltiness. Yep. It, it's going to go great with the tiramisu. It's absolutely perfect. I think yet again you have made an excellent choice, Eris. It's Thank interesting you very choice much. at least. Yeah. I got to get back to the Taskmaster Master Suzanne and finish up my tiramisu now, and I'll be doing that when Carolina Cooking continues. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, CarolinaCooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking, where you can clearly see which one would be mine and which one would be Suzanne's. Yes, mine has magically changed bowls. That's all that's happened. Actually, ours needs mine here needs to go into the uh, go into the fridge for four hours. Four hours or at least. More. You could do it overnight, and okay. it would set really nicely. But now we're going to use mine to make this nice little cup here in the front, and we're going to use yours to do a little different presentation. So what right. do I need to make my little cup o tiramisu? You can just take a little corner here. Mm-hmm with your spoon and okay. put a little bit of the cream 
little corner and a little cream. Mm -hmm. And actually take one of my biscuits and you oh, can sure. just break, break it. Break it and put it in there? Put it in there. Okay, and then a little more cream? A little more cream. All right. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. And, and a little cacao on top. Cacao. And Hershey's a little mint. Cacao. And I'm just going to. In case you were wondering. Cut Hershey's. mine. All right. And you're cutting yours. Yes. I'm going to put my mint in. If we mom. could just move this one a little bit this sure. way. In fact, we'll move it all the way over here. All righty. And. Uh, there's so, mine. which piece do you want to use? Uh, that one's good right there. Okay, that one. Oh, is look. Good. Kane. Fuko. Uh, Kane is on Fuko. Helpo, helpo. See, now you know how to say my dog's on fire. Huh? Not only do you learn to cook here on Carolina Cooking, you also learn some foreign languages, too. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to set this out of the way. And, oh. and we can just put a little cacao around again. Okie dokie. If you want to learn more about our recipe or our wine, or our chef, or the restaurant, or the Hadco facility here, visit our website at carolinacooking.tv. I'm Tom Zelenka here with Chef Suzanne, and that's Carolina Cooking. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Buenos dios, so. That's good. Go to carolinacooking.tv for the recipes featured on this show. Plus, on carolinacooking.tv, you'll find more information on the wine, chefs, and foods of Carolina Cooking. That's carolinacooking.tv.